Hello, I'm gonna read some uh, mail from fa Facebook fans right now. Um, this first one is um, from from uh, K KY Angel. Hi, my name is Tracy. I watched some of your videos and find them very interesting. Thank you for sharing them on YouTube. I have some Amish friends in Kentucky that have been arrested for not paying fines they receive because they did not want to use the orange triangle that the state of Kentucky says that all slow moving vehicles must use. While I agree that buggies need reflective tape and lanterns, I do not believe that they should be forced to do anything they do not believe in. I have started a petition to uh, try and get the law changed. Makes sense, I guess. And I am praying daily that this will help. Some of my friends have to be back in court on the 14th of this month and I will be there in support of them. I am curious what your views are on this law. I know your grandfather was in a bad buggy accident and I am very sorry for that. But would have would it have mattered if you would have had the orange triangle or not on the buggy. If you did have the triangle, did that help at all? I'm not sure. And first of all, that was not my grandfather, it was my dad, although he's old enough to make grandpa be my grandfather. Uh, I was younger of, of uh, 14 kids and by the time uh, they had me they were in their 40s so so uh, he yeah, had he would be old enough to be my grandfather but but he's not actually he's my father um, but uh, as far as the the buggy if, if she just been able to see me was was that uh, of me and my dad was that triangle on the buggy if, if we were allowed to have one I'm not sure she may have it may have helped I'm not sure I'm not gonna say yes or no on that because I really don't know she says she saw she hit a deer but which I found kinda strange but it was around a curve and 6 30 or 6 in the morning or something like that or maybe it was a, six or five in the morning you know it was, it was just dusk and, and uh, it wasn't really light out or or uh, it wasn't like like midnight or anything though but so it was just dusk and, and she uh, hit us and I'm not sure if she was paying attention that's what I'm wondering if she saw us or not, I don't know. But let's go to the next email, and uh, hopefully that. And uh, let's just say everybody should be paying attention anyway when they're driving horse and buggy, or or uh, the cars, because while well, they end up. We all put it, put people's lives in danger when we drive, um, especially when we don't pay attention. Um, and so here's another email. Um, Hi Joseph, I have watched some of your movies, as I have interest in the Amish and Mennonite communities. Maybe it seems like this looking from the outside, but I have the impression that despite the many slings, that one does not or cannot have when living the Amish way the one thing that does one does have is community and connection things that 
are often lacking in the doggy dog competition based wider society. I belong to the Robin Castle phase, but I admit that I have found many of the Anabaptist values appealing. Uh, there are some that are uh, some of their values I, I do find appealing too. Uh, that said, I can see there being times when one must feel like having some space to oneself. That is something that the secular society offers lots of. And I guess there are some. When, when one fit, I guess you say, if, if, if you feel um, like like you've been rejected from from that uh, community you have to find yourself somewhere and you know, that be my way of putting it but yeah that, that makes sense and as I said earlier in a, in the previous video I um I met a fan today and and uh, in uh, Millersburg, it was interesting to uh, see her reaction to to meeting me, uh, and uh, she uh, encouraged me to continue this uh, these videos uh, just by just because she. Uh, Recognized me and uh, and uh, said that I'm uh, probably helping the tourism industry in, in uh, Wayne and Holmes County a lot just because of my videos. So, uh, so that was going to be interesting, and and uh, and uh, also the the her comment about the reunions we have and. And stuff like that, and and she she was like, uh, there was a crowd of people around me, and she was like, they don't know you're famous, they don't know you're famous. And like, uh, that was interesting. Uh, I I never had that reaction from anybody before, so uh, so that was uh, an interesting reaction. Okay, well I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.